Tina Basich is a Renaissance woman, one of the most influential pioneers and ambassadors in snowboarding and action sports. In a career that began at the dawn of her sport, she helped put women's snowboarding on the map. For Basich, the early days in the mid-80s were filled with excitement as the sport was getting established. Growing up in California, there were only a few resorts open to snowboarders, but that did not deter her. While she competed in all events at the start, she found her true love in the air. She became dominant at Halfpipe, a contender in every event, traveling the world as a sponsored rider. Next up, Tina Bassett from Salt Lake City, Utah, the world champion. Tough to beat in any half pipe there. And she's working this pipe like she owns it. Wall to wall, spins it around to fakie. Bassett became a poster child for snowboarding at a critical time, building a strong image for the popular new sport. She launched her first pro model with Kemper Snowboards in 1994, at the same time that friend Shannon Dunn released hers with Sims. The talented duo forced the industry to notice there was a need for women's specific gear. Together with Dunn, they designed the Prom and Tuesday outerwear brands, bringing technical women's apparel to snowboarding. Basich was also a founding partner of Boarding for Breast Cancer, educating young women on the importance of self-testing, early awareness, and prevention. Her most memorable moment came at the 1998 Winter X Games, shocking the snowboard world by landing the first 720 backside rotation in competition. It opened a new era of progression for women. Basich moved away from competition in the late 90s, focusing on riding powder and expressing herself with the stories of the freedom that snowboarding brought her. She pioneered big mountain riding with first descents in Alaska and leading film crews to the biggest lines that any snowboarder was doing at the time. A key to Basich's success was that she was media savvy. Around the world, she told the story of snowboarding from a woman's perspective in magazine stories to her own women's specific TV show. In 2003, Harper Collins published her autobiography, Pretty Good for a Girl, documenting her stories of perseverance and the challenges of rising up in what was a male dominated sport. In recognition of her pioneering efforts in establishing a strong place for women in snowboarding and playing a vital role in the culture of the sport, Tina Basich is honored with induction into the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame.